everyone, welcome for the latest news and the latest updates wherever you are and where you're watching from, you are doing a very great job and we are very pleased but kindly don't forget to subscribe and turn the notification button for more of these updates. Uh, the parliament is to spend, or the parliament to spend billions on rent at Tycoon Sudiris Kingdom Kampala House. Once again, thanks for joining us and let's take a quick look into some of these details. The 10th Parliament of the Republic of Uganda has hired office spells for newly elected MPs at Dr. Sudiru Parelia's Kingdom Kampala building at a monthly fee of 800 million Ugandan shillings. Uh, important to recall is that the outgoing 10th Parliament has been spending 40 million Ugandan shillings daily on the 10th hired by National Resistant Movement Tycoon Balam Barugahari and the 11th and the 11th parliament, which has about 529 MPs who were, also, or who were all sworn in last week are ready to transact parliament businesses with immediate effect. According to Helen Nante Zakawesa, the Assistant Director of Communications and Public Affairs, parliament has secured one wing at the Kingdom Kampala building, which will house at least 323 members of parliament, out of the 529 legislators. She proceeds further by saying that they are in the process of procuring office furniture so that the members of parliament do their work comfortably. She also added on saying that we are renting space at Kampala Kingdom building and we are in the process of procuring the furniture. The move has, however, attracted widespread criticism from civil society groups, which they say the spending is lavish and uncalled for. This is very luxurious expenditure. They already have a big budget for their operations. On top of that, they will each take you they will each take 200 million Ugandan shillings for vehicles, says Lubega Alex, a political student at Makiriri University. The government has to start prioritizing sectors. The money should be spent on things that benefit the taxpayers. Parliament can, for instance, construct its own spacious premises instead of that lavish expenses incurred on rent, he further purposes. Uh, now the, the contradiction is still going on where the parliament wants to go to a luxurious house which is going to be costing eight hundred million Ugandan shillings monthly, whereby other members or other groups on civil societies are coming out to complain, they're giving out their complaints like the parliament is really trying to lavish the income by going for luxurious things of which they would have been doing very important things rather than using the government money, or instead they would use their own funds to come up with a space if they needed to go to a room for their office, something like that. Well, that is it for now. Thanks for watching. We'll keep on updating with more of this, but kindly don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification button.